I thought it would be interesting to compare the IMU based stabilization of the old school Xiaomi Mijia Mi Sphere, which as far as I'm aware was the first consumer grade 360 camera to do stabilization like that, against the much newer uh, Insta 361X, which obviously has much better IMU based stabilization because it's about two, three years more modern. So I've put them both onto the top of the, the Y6. Incidentally, the tape is just there for peace of mind. There is actually a quarter inch UNC bolt in the middle as usual and we're going to see um, how it goes. Okay this is the Insta361X on the left and the MeSphere on the right. Audio is coming from the MeSphere right now which is way louder than the Insta361X actually. Uh, first thing I realise is these micro vibrations in the Insta361X are way more pronounced than the MeSphere and also as the copter tilts to do its movement right here the, the view on the Insta361X just there actually tilts as well and then the flow state stabilization kind of uh, kicks in a few moments after that tilt and corrects it whereas the mesphere just keeps the view keeps the horizon level the whole time um, for this particular application i think i would prefer uh, the insta 361x to keep the horizon level the whole time you see here the whole horizon tilts as the copter tilts and then the flow state stabilization kind of kicks in it lags behind slightly. Uh, I, I guess they do that to make movement seem uh, more fluid, but actually I prefer how in the Mesphere is doing it here, where it's keeping the horizon level the whole time. Uh, maybe that's an option that you can change, but I couldn't see anything in the desktop stitching software from Insta360 to, to change that, so uh, I don't know. Uh, and here once again you can see these little like micro vibrations on the left with the Insta361X. Um, they're way more pronounced than with the MeSphere, which surprises me because the the Insta361X is a, a much more modern camera. It's, what, two years newer? And it actually cost double what the MeSphere cost original list price-wise. Uh, I think it may simply be that the Insta361X isn't well suited to um, situations like this that have lots of micro vibrations. Uh, the way the flow state stabilization kind of lags behind large tilts of the horizon and whatnot probably works very nicely on uh, movement that is already more stable. You know, it, it's good for stabilizing and making a nice flowing footage out of stuff that is already quite smooth, so skiing or, or something like that. Uh, whereas for stabilizing out the judders and vibrations from something like a large drone, it uh, doesn't seem to work quite as well. Um, because I've seen lots of, of really good, really smooth Insta361X footage from mini quads, um, but as anybody who's built larger quads, larger copters knows, um, mini quads actually inherently fly smoother than bigger copters with you know nine, ten inch twin blade props. So um, yeah, I suspect that to fly one of these things properly on a bigger copter, you do need to have at least some vibration dampening or even a, a gimbal. So hmm.